Hello, this is a short tutorial about how to connect a software to Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation, short TWS, or Gateway. In this video we will use TWS. A software is an API client, like a charting application, like multicharts or TradeStation, or as used in our example here, the MetaTrader Interactive Brokers Order Copier, a software from TradeCommander.com. To make such a connection you need to prepare TWS. For this you go into the setup of TWS, which, which can be opened by the small icon in the upper right of TWS. Then go to Node API and expand it. Click on Settings. And these are the settings for API client. Most important, make sure enable ActiveX is checked. This is for socket-based API connections, which is mostly the case. Sometimes you may have uh, so-called DDE clients, like the Excel sample of Interactive Brokers, then you check enable DDE clients. But for most other tools for most um, common tools like NinjaTrader, Multicharts, TradeStation, you use the socket client. So enable ActiveX should be checked. If you like to place orders, which is the normal case, then uncheck read only API. When connecting Trade Commander Com software, uncheck download open orders because this is done anyway. From our software or by our software. The next important point is the port. This must match. This is something like a channel, a communication channel number. So you should use on the API client side the same channel number. And last, make sure that a low connection from localhost only is checked when you run the API client on the same machine as TWS. When you now click on apply and OK, you will see on the next one our API client will connect, which is indicated by the account number in the lower right, which is the same account number of TWS. This is more or less all. I proceed with some details. Um, for instance, when running an API client on uh, from another machine on another machine, then you should proceed to look this video. We go again into Settings, API node, Settings. And now we imagine that we run our API client on another machine. In this case, you uncheck this and you create a so-called trusted IP. And this is the IP of the machine where this API client is running. Our API client has its IP in the title bar. And we just type this IP here. It's like this client would be run would run on another machine. 192.168.178.56. And we click on OK, apply, OK, close this client and restart and check if it's still connecting and it's connecting because you can see the account in the lower right the red just indicates that it is a paper account okay this is all thank you for watching this video bye bye